So today I'm going to try and make sense of what we call epigenetics and nutrigenomics. It's a big subject and I'll try and make it as clear as I can. I'm probably not going to get too deep into the geek out kind of crazy details, but I just want to give you an appreciation of how some really subtle things work in your body and how important it is to make sure that um, especially your genetics and epigenetics don't end up uh, expressing disease because that's unfortunately sometimes what they can do. The term epigenetics describes what's around or epi to your actual gene itself. Now your genes, just like any other tissue in your body, need to be repaired, replicated, uh, supported in terms of nutrition. And we all know that if your genes go off, in the sense that they're not getting what they need, there's environmental toxins, too much stress, especially too much inflammation, then your genes are more likely to express a disease that you may be carrying. Now it's also true that many people carry the genes for any number of illnesses, live their entire lives and never actually get sick. So please don't uh, worry too much about your genes. I <clears throat> often use this metaphor that um, when, no, it's probably say 10 years ago, up to 50 years ago, we have the, had the experience as people that we're kind of afraid of our genes, kind of like, you know, if you're in uh, a casino somewhere and you're at a blackjack table and the blackjack gives you a two and a five and a seven or whatever, and then maybe that, you know, wonderful jack and an ace, you know, you win. because of the way your genes give you things. Uh, the concern we all have is that that blackjack dealer is going to save lupus, cancer, MS, Parkinson's, and especially Alzheimer's, right? So that's the fear we've had is that your genes, kind of like a car dealer, may or may not just at one point drop something really, really bad in your lap. And uh, luckily, that's not really how it works. So what we call epigenetics, again, is an entire system that surrounds the, the gene itself in every one of your cells, and it uh, supports the kind of folding up of your genes and unfolding of your genes and the repair of them, but also helping support specific genes run their jobs, right? So I'm gonna kind of get into the details of that. So we've all seen that kind of spirally ladder thing that we uh, understand to be kind of an image of what our genes look like. If you were to take any rung on the ladder and decide that's actually one gene and that gene has a certain job, just like any other tissue in your body or say an organ in your body, it's got a job. I'm gonna ask you to kind of uh, follow me into the metaphor a little bit um, and imagine that each one of the rungs on the ladder, you know, being a gene, having a job, is gonna look uh, metaphorically like the piston in your car. So, uh, piston in your car, you know, it has to go up and down to spin the crankshaft to make the wheels turn so you can get around, good to know. Uh, there's an intake manifold and there's a valve and that allows the uh, oxygen atmosphere gasoline to come in. It could be diesel, it could be, you know, hopefully someday hydrogen, that'd be great. And then as the piston, you know, gets pushed around by the explosion, then it goes out of the exhaust manifold. So enough about cars. Every one of the genes that requires certain nutrients to uh, do its job, um, you know, that's the essential equation. If you don't have the right nutrients to, to actually facilitate the enzymes that that gene regulates to do its job, the enzyme starts to be down-regulated or uh, work in an in insufficient manner. And the same can be true about the exhaust manifold. You know, the gene uh, tells the enzyme to do its job, the enzyme wants to do its job, and it produces a certain waste material, and most processes use produce waste materials. That waste material has to be cleared in some way by the detoxification pathways of your body. And there's a lot of different pathways that clear off the byproducts of normal genetic activity uh, and normal enzymatic activity. So you need certain things to make this happen, and you need a lot of different things to make this happen. And this is where what we call nutrigenomics comes in, because nowadays we're getting really, really good in medicine and, and with respect to medical science to understanding exactly what nutrients certain genes need in the sense of nutrigenomics to do their job. And probably more importantly for most people today, the exact nutrients that your body needs, the gene needs to actually clear the waste material out of your system. Um, you can look at what's called the MTHFR genes. That's a really big one right now. Um, there's the COMT uh, polymorphism. There's all kinds of other ones that I, I see in my clinic, you know, pretty much, you know, every time I see a new patient, I can start to go, you know, you may, and it's probably about 50-50 with people, you may, you know, having the illness you have, have a, a weak genetic uh, system working uh, kind of in the background. And uh, if you support that gene more efficiently, 
a lot of your symptoms and a lot of the processes of your illness may get better. And in fact, you can actually get your genes tested now, thanks to the, all the research put in by the Human Genome Project. Uh, popular one nowadays is 23andMe, and there's other ones out there. And um, once you get the, your, your genes, uh, your genetic sample to the lab, they'll usually take about two, three weeks. They'll send you back uh, a file that tells you um, what genetic anomalies you may have. In fact, so a lot of them tell you how much Neanderthal you are, which I think is really cool. I have a friend who just did it. He was 2.7% Neanderthal, and he was like doing a happy dance because he just thought that was really cool. So if you really want to go deep into this, this is something I do in my practice. With respect to nutrigenomic medicine, uh, still lots to learn. Um, I'm kind of a learnaholic. I like to learn new things. And this is fascinating to me. So if you're curious and you want to get these kind of tests done, you're going to need to find either a naturopath, a functional medicine doctor, or perhaps a chiropractor, somebody who uh, has the nutrigenomic training and certification to not only help you uh, understand what you get back from your genetic sample, uh, but to help you with the specific changes in your diet, the supplements you may need, to either increase this side of the way the gene runs the enzymes that it's responsible for, or this side to clear it. So, uh, again, my name is Michael Smith. Uh, if you need my help with this, just contact me through the link on my website. Um, I work with people all over the world, and please like and share this video, because uh, I really want to get these things out there for people. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment area below. And hopefully together we're going to make, uh, you know, some big moves and changes in your health.